by Zul Kifli, Manchester, UK, is kosher meat halal. Kosher meat is the meat which is slaughtered by the Jews, and I would rather say Orthodox Jews. Is it halal? As far as the Quran clearly mentioned in Surah Maidah, chapter 5, verse number 5, that lawful for you, lawful for the Muslims, is the food of the Heli Kitab. So all food of Heli Kitab is lawful, but natural. There is a difference of opinion. As far as if a Christian gives food, there are many scholars, many Arab scholars who say that if Christians serve you food, even non Zabiya, it is halal according to me. It's not halal because they are not following the rules of the Bible. Then I ask them the question, if they give pork, you have? They say no. I said, why? So these scholars say, because pork is haram in the Bible. Now, they may not be that much well-versed with the comparative religion. That's not their field. Comparative religion is my field. So if we analyze the Bible, according to the Bible, also slaughtering should be done. Unfortunately, most of the Christians don't follow, but the Jews follow. As Allah says in the Quran, in no less than four different places. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 173. In Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 3. In Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse number 145. And Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 115. Hurrimat alaykumul maitutu waddamu walamul khinzir. Wa ma ahilla li gari labi. Forbidden for you for food are dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and any food on which any name besides Allah's name is invoked. So all the Muslims know very well that these four food are prohibited. Dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and any food on which any name besides Allah's name has been taken. And these four foods are also prohibited in the Bible. That's the different thing that the Christians don't follow, but the Jews follow. If you read the Bible, Bible prohibits dead meat. Dead meat is prohibited in the Bible. Time will not permit to describe in detail. I'll just mention the references. It's mentioned in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 17, verse, verse number 15. And the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 21, that dead meat is prohibited. Even blood is prohibited in the Bible in no less than five different places. It's mentioned in the book of Genesis, chapter number 9, verse number 4. In the book of Leviticus, chapter number 17, verse number 14. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 12, verse number 16. In the first Samuel, chapter number 14, verse number 33. And the book of Acts, chapter number 15, verse number 29, that blood is prohibited. Even pork is prohibited in the Bible. In the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. And in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5. Any meat on which any name besides Allah's name is taken, or it is sorted on an idol, it is prohibited in the Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter number 15, verse number 29, and in the book of Revelation, chapter number 2, verse number 14. So based on this, when the Quran says, food of the Ahle Kitab is permitted, according to me, even dead meat is prohibited, even blood is prohibited, pork is prohibited, any name on which any name besides Allah's name is taken is prohibited. So the Christians are not strict and they... They sell meat which is non zabia which is totally wrong, which is non-kosher, totally wrong. But the Jews which are orthodox, they do in the way the Bible has commanded, which is the same as the Islamic method, almost same. I remember in the late 80s or the early 90s when I used to travel, there was nothing like halal food in the flights. But there was the option of kosher food because the Jews are very particular. And they are more particular than the Muslims. So when I used to travel, I used to order kosher meat. For a Muslim, if halal meat, zabiya meat is available, that's the best to have. But if there's no zabiya meat, if there's kosher meat, you can safely have it. It's permitted, but don't have the non-zabiya meat. It is haram for you.